Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review empty video to show you. Uh, there's actually really not that many. I haven't gone through that much wax, but I've said a hundred times before, I just don't have that much time to melt. I do, however, try to melt at least one thing in one warmer every day. I have a warmer in my living room, a warmer in my kitchen, and a warmer in the bedroom. So there's three warmers, so that's at least three pieces of wax that I can get through every day. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I'm pretty sure I've explained it in another video that I am a part of the 2019 wax ban. Um, everybody has their own thing, which is that's another whole video by itself of their rules and what they're gonna do, um, their own game plan. Now that's not to say I'm not buying wax at all this year because obviously I will, but as of right now I want to get through wax rather than buying more because since I've moved I've had to buy two more three drawer Sterilite containers in order to hold all of my wax. So, And I've only been living here for a few months now. So yeah, we need to cut back on buying and start melting more. So what I've basically been trying to do in terms of space is just try to use up the stuff that are like scent shot cups or bags that doesn't really have a lot in it, trying to finish up things that I only have one or two pieces of just to get that out of the way and give myself some more breathing room and so I can put my wax together to make it look more like organized because a lot of the drawers, like it's changed a lot since I did my wax collection and some of the drawers are just looking really, really sad and it just looks a mess. So I'm trying really hard to like get that stuff out of the way. I'm not so much focused on clamshells that are full or chunk bags that are full because that's not really helping me right now. I'm trying to get rid of like the half bags or something that I only have a couple pieces left of, scent shots, etc. So that's what this one pretty much is. Um, everything in here only had a little bit left in it or it was like a single scent shot or a single shape that I ended up melting. Uh, this is not going to go in any particular order because there's not that many in here. I think there's only 15 empties. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. So the first thing that I finished was a potion pack in coconut from Super Tarts. One of my favorite scents. I've been through this so many times. I love her coconut. I think it is actually my favorite coconut. I also finished um, a bag of lemon curd. I do have backups of both of these, but those two backups are also already almost gone. And I also gave some away in my giveaway, so... Um, but I love both of these scents. These two scents together are actually really good as well. Uh, from Front Porch, this was a four pack in Maple Sugar Cookie Cupcakes. And as you guys know, I don't really buy from Front Porch, but I do have some as they were given to me as gifts. And I do really like that scent. That was a really nice scent. I kind of want to find another vendor that makes that, that uh, maybe I could dupe it somehow. Uh, from Flaming Star Scents, this is Cotton Candy Casper, Cotton Candy, Birthday Cake, Vanilla Bean Noel, Marshmallow, and Sugar Cookie. I love anything that has to do with Casper from Flaming Star Scents. Uh, I would say everybody go out and try it, but I honestly don't even know if she's like making wax right now or if she's open. I honestly haven't been to the website in a while, which kind of stinks because I still have um, a code actually that I won for, um, I think, I, I don't remember what it was, like $10 off or like a $10 coupon or something. Uh, but I love this scent. This was a four pack. I went through it pretty fast, actually. That's been sitting there for a while. I do have some more of that one, though. From that Smell Good Shop, Toasty Noel, which is just toasted marshmallow vanilla bean Noel. This was a six pack. It's only two ounces, though, for it being a six pack of those tiny, tiny little squares. I mix that with pretty much everything. Any bakery scent that I'm melting i always mix it with that just because i love her toasted marshmallow vanilla bean noel scent it's so strong and so good also from that small good shop lemon dippity this is the one that i took out of my mom's because she wrote no on it because she didn't like it so this was out of my mom's stash that i took uh this is lemon and serendipity i love this scent i actually melted the last two pieces uh last night and i wanted to mix it or at least put in another warmer of strawberry serendipity i think it was called from rose girls and i know that i bought a chunk bag in it but i can't find it i don't know if i de-stashed it or if i finished it <clears throat> but i really 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 wanted a serendipity scent last night and like that one i'm pretty sure it was like the only one that i had i'm gonna have to go through my stash because i feel like i must have some more serendipity somewhere 
Um, I don't know why I don't buy more of it because I love it. Uh, but yeah, it has to be somewhere or I have a, some of it somewhere. But yeah, I love that scent and what I ended up doing was putting in another warmer, Strawberry Shortcakes Peeps Cake, Strawberry Shortcake Peeps Cake Swizzle Sticks, I think it's called from Rose Girls and that one was amazing. Um, I'm glad that I mixed those two together because it was really good. I think it might have actually been even better than the Strawberry Serendipity if I had done it that way. All right, also from Front Porch, this was a four pack in Amish Friendship Bread and Fresh Baked Bread. I really, really like their bread scents. Again, I hope I can find someone with a really nice Amish Friendship Bread to dupe that one. From Rose Girl, Strawberry Peeps Cake Vanilla Crunch Donuts. I loved this one. This one was just amazing. This was from the sampler that I got, I believe. Uh, it's so good. Her strawberry scent is like a strawberry jam scent in this one, which I love from her. It's just an awesome strawberry blend if you like strawberry scents. Uh, from Vintage Chic Scents, Cream Cheese Terra. And I think the Terra is the Terra Will, no Hung Will Never Go Hungry Again scent, which is, I think it's Wild Berry Mousse and Zucchini Bread. With cream Cheese, this is from the Cream Cheese Sampler that I bought months ago, as you can tell by the pour date. Uh, this is really good. I actually cut my roses into fourths because I've learned from VCS that less is always more. Start off with a little bit if you're not getting a throw because I had to learn the hard way and I wasted really, really good wax and I stopped buying from her because I honestly thought that her wax just didn't work for me. Um, and then I ended up trying so many different warmers, so many different blends, and I wasn't realizing or thinking, hey, use less, you're using too much. Because with some other vendors, you do have to use a little bit more to get a decent scent throw. Every vendor is different. Every oil is different. Um, but that's what I've learned in, you know, in my opinion, what works for me. Everybody has, you know, their own way of melting and what they think is strong and everything. But you guys know me. I like my wax to throw me out of the house. I pay a lot of money for my wax and I want it to work and I want it to work well. So yeah, less is more with VCS in my opinion. And a higher wattage warmer always works better for me. Um, I've learned that with an 18 watt, it's it's not going to throw for me. Point blank period, it's not going to work. Um, so I always use my Vintage Chic Sense Wax in my 24 watt Michael's Hot Plate or my 25 watt light bulb warmer from Target. Those are what works for me. It might be different for you guys. But let me know if you have a vendor that just doesn't work for you in any other warmer. It has to be a 24 watt or it has to be an 18 watt. Let me know if you guys have that experience too. Okay, so from Rainbow Melts, I tried the Bread Pudding Crispy. This is the one that I was certain that she mixed the, up the labels for this because I can still smell it in here. The Bread Pudding Crispy, this one, smells like what Butter Brickle Crispy should smell like. So I honestly think this is the Butter Brickle one, and then the Butter Brickle one that's in there is actually the Bread Pudding one because... I don't know. I'm just adamant that that's what happened. Either way, they're both very good, and I did like this one. But I'm still pretty sure this is the Butter Pickle one. <laughs> I really liked it, though. I right, also, from Super Tarts, I finished up a bag in Pie Crust. And honestly, I love this scent, and I don't know if I have any more of it. I'm going to have to look. Now, this is sad when you honestly don't even know what you have anymore because you have so much wax. But this is a really good one. I love it. I love it on its own. I love it blended with stuff. I remember I was watching someone's video. I can't remember who it was. But she was going through, I think, her Super Tarts collection or she was, like, reviewing Super Tarts or something. And I remember she held up the pie crust and she said how amazing it was on its own. And I always saw it on the website, but I always kind of just passed it by because I'm kind of like, you know, how strong can pie crust really be? Um, but it is. It's really strong and it's really sweet. And you can, I love it on its own and I love it mixed with other things. So if you ever see that one on the website, I do highly recommend it if you like sweet bready kind of scent. It's not like a fresh baked bread. It's not super yeasty. I know a lot of people don't like that. I love it, but um, it's definitely not really like a heavy bread scent. It's more of like a sweet maple-y bread kind of scent, if that makes sense. All right, from that small good shop, I did frosted pine cones. I know I mixed this with something because it was really strong, so I cut it in half, and half worked great, by the way. It was, it's like a really, really strong pine scent, like a pine sol kind of scent. That's what it was. It's like a pine sol scent, and I loved it. Um, I think I mixed it with like a marshmallow or a sugar cookie or something. I honestly don't remember because it was a while ago. But I love it. It's really, really nice. All right, next one 
is from Up the Creek Scents, and this is Caramel Cookie Zucchini. And I actually melted this a few days ago, and I loved it. It's just a really, really awesome, very, very sweet zucchini bread scent mixed with the caramel cookie. If you like scents like that, obviously you would like that one. And it was a really strong thrower too. Um, I don't need to review this one, but this is Fake and Bake from Super Tarts. I've reviewed this so many times. I've talked about it so many times. I'll never get tired of that one. And then the very last one in here is Strawberry Raspberry Grava from That Small Good Shop. Now, when I first, I actually really want to talk about this one. When I first got this in, um, it was great. I loved it on cold throw. I couldn't wait to melt it. I bought like three or four of them actually. And then as it was sitting, it got like a really weird undertone. I can still kind of smell it in here. It's not as strong as it was before, but I'm trying to explain. A lot of people say that they get that scent from Front Porch. I actually don't get it anymore. I used to when I first started buying from Front Porch years ago, like in 2011. Um, and a lot of people say they, they still get that undertone and that's what I was smelling in this. So at first I loved it, then I got a weird undertone and I decided to melt it anyway. I bought four of them, so you know, melt one, just see if you like it and if not, then you can de-stash them. Um, but I actually loved this, so that scent went away very quickly. Um, I didn't smell it at all actually as it was melting and when I did melt it, it lasted forever. Like it, I put it in my 25 watt, honestly, just to kind of see if it would make a difference because that small good shop honestly works for me in any warmer. I've tried 13 watt, I've tried a 24, I've tried an 18, I tried a 25. So that small good shop's wax, I guess, just works very well for me in any warmer that I ever put it in. And the scent is always the same. It's never lighter, it's never stronger. It's always the same, very strong. And uh, so when I melted this one, it lasted like a day and a half. I didn't change it because I loved the scent of it. So I am glad now that I bought um, a couple more because it's a really good one. I love this strawberry raspberry guava scent. And if she makes it in those big 16 packs or whatever they're called, I would definitely get one of those. So that is everything. Thank you for listening to me babble on about nonsense as I normally do. Um, I do have a couple more videos planned for today now that I have some time off and I can focus on filming them. I have a bunch of loaves that need to be chopped and honestly I've been putting it off because it's just kind of a hassle trying to set up the tripod at an angle that doesn't show the entire kitchen and try to focus just on the wax and then cutting it the right way. I did end up getting a new wax cutter. I found one on Amazon and I bought a bunch of bakery bags for the loaves when they are cut. So that stuff did come in so now I'm more prepared to do it. I bought more wax paper and everything because the last time that I was doing it I was so unprepared. I had a cutter that wasn't really working out for me and I didn't know what I was doing honestly. But now that I have a little bit more knowledge on what I'm doing I will be posting those maybe today or tomorrow. I think I'm going to film a couple of them and then kind of just sporadically upload them because clearly I haven't really been buying that much wax. The last wax order that I placed with my own money because the Christmas kahuna box and the bombshell box were both gifts and uh, the last like order that I placed was actually in October from a crafty barista and I think I bought some body sprays in November. And then the last couple of things I spent my money on was just D-stashes, like the Sniff My Tarts one and the one from Devon were actually the last two D-stashes that I ever purchased besides a body scrub, which was like $11 or something. So I really haven't bought wax in a very long time. So um, I think it's due. <laughs> I think it's due for me to buy some wax for myself. All right. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will babble on in the next video. Bye.